Well, new information tonight as to what may have caused five Elkhart inmates to have seizures. Police are investigating how a substance got past them. WSBT 22 Zach Crenshaw is in the newsroom right now. And Zach, how do officers think this happened? Well, right now they say it looks like an inmate smuggled in that smokable substance when he was first booked into the jail. Now, two retired detectives are looking into how this happened to make sure it never does again. As ambulances pulled away from the Elkhart County Jail yesterday, the questions began. Well, how did this substance get into our facility? Five male inmates all rushed to Elkhart General after smoking something that caused them to have seizures. This is the first time we've had uh, anything on this level. Captain Siegel with the Sheriff's Department says right now it looks like an inmate smuggled the substance in. Everything will be under scrutiny. What we'll do is we'll conduct an investigation on how this, this product ended up in the facility. and. During that investigation, we'll also review policies, procedures, and search techniques and, you know, tactics that the corrections officers use to make sure that there's nothing else we need to improve on. Yesterday's five seizures were an obvious indication something had gotten into the jail that wasn't supposed to be. But officers say it's nearly impossible to keep everything out. And it's not the first time something like this has happened here at Elkhart County. We have had situations in the past where we've had officers traffic with inmates. You know, they were able to make some money and they thought that was lucrative. So unfortunately, that thread is also out there. Many times, though, it's the inmates. Officers hope they don't find anything else except answers as to how this happened. You know, we'll have the opportunity to maybe file some charges with the prosecutor's office. And in a perfect world, we'll be able to find where that maybe that policy breakdown was. Officers say while it's hard to keep everything out of the jail, they do do random cell checks and canine sweeps. Now, all the inmates that were in the hospital yesterday are now securely back in jail and being monitored by the medical staff there. And police say the substance has been sent to Indianapolis for testing, and it could be a few weeks before they know exactly what, what the substance was. Reporting in the newsroom, Zach Crenshaw, WSBT 22 News.